Ghost stories are about as traditional as you can get when discussing the paranormal, and as such, have been a go-to topic of entertainment media for as long as media has been around. Being a product of culture and belief, many people are now overly familiar with the ghost stories we were exposed to in the West. In the last 20 years or so, a huge demand emerged from horror fans for something fresh and outside the normal tropes of what we've come to expect from mainstream media. A steady influx of horror movies, books, comics, and stories began to make their way to the collective consciousness of the West, all the way from East Asia. So here is our top five list of East Asian ghost stories. Let's begin. Number five. The story of Mei Nark. While the following legend is mostly identical between sources, time periods and minor details vary, and so the story has been simplified for the ease of writing. The tale is of a young woman named Mei Nark who lived with her husband. Mei Nark fell pregnant, and a few months before the baby was due, her husband was conscripted and sent to war, where he was seriously wounded. While he was being nursed back to health in Bangkok, Mei Nark and their child both died during a difficult childbirth. When the husband returned home, he finds both his loving wife and child waiting for him, unaware of the tragedy which befell them both while he was away. Neighbours appeared withdrawn from the husband, avoiding conversation in the street or flat out ignoring his presence. Those who he managed to hold some degree of conversation with, or even tried to tell him the fate of his wife and child, soon died. One day, as Mei Nark is home, her husband returns to the house and does not alert her to his presence. Mei Nark is busying herself with chores and drops an item which falls out of reach between the floorboards. In her haste to retrieve it, she reaches out to pick it up, but as her incorporeal form allows, extends her arm far beyond the normal reach and through the floor itself. Her husband sees this and realizes that his wife is in fact a ghost. Abandoning his wife at that very moment, he fled the house, seeking refuge within the local temple, which a ghost cannot enter as it is holy ground. In her grief, Maynard terrorizes the local people, blaming them for causing her husband to leave her. However, Maynark's ghost is restrained by one of the temple's monks and bound within an earthen jar, which is then thrown into the canal. The story varies again at this stage, but many versions state that the earthen jar containing Maynark's spirit is retrieved and opened by fishermen, prompting another binding ritual to restrain her ghost. The monk, who this time performs the binding ritual, confines her spirit to a bone from her remains and binds it in his waistband. Legend now states that the monk's waistband is currently owned by the Thai royal family. A shrine dedicated to Maynark is now located in Bangkok, where many people make offerings and request help from her spirit, usually for an easy childbirth themselves or for their husbands to be exempt from military service. Number 4. A South Korean Spirit Hitchhiker Phantom hitchhikers are commonplace within folklore across the world. With the amount of roadside death from car accidents, it is not surprising that many people believe spirits of those killed violently or suddenly remain at their place of death. This story from South Korea is relatively new, as far as urban legends and ghost stories go. It's about a ghost that has been seen alongside a busy stretch of road attempting to catch a ride from passing cars. The story goes that a beautiful woman wearing sunglasses attempts to hitchhike on the side of a road. What is curious about her at first glance is that she is wearing sunglasses despite the weather, or even in the middle of the night. As the driver approaches the young woman, either to offer a ride home or just as they are passing by, they realize that what look like sunglasses to begin with are in fact empty sockets where her eyes used to be. The story does not explain the young woman's cause of death or the physical state of the rest of her body, but any event that would cause the removal of both eyes is either an incredibly horrific accident or something a lot more sinister. Number 3. Hikiko. This urban legend and ghost story from Japan tells the legend of a young girl named Hikiko. She has had a particularly sad and distressing backstory based around bullying at school and household abuse. The story goes that she came from a very broken home where she would be beaten and neglected by her parents. The extent of the physical abuse she suffered manifested itself over time as various bodily deformations, a result of unattended wounds and poorly healed scars. Her deformities make Hikiko a target for bullying by her classmates, and all this culminated in a state of desperation until it all became too much for her and she tragically committed suicide. It is said that in retaliation for the horrific abuse she suffered in life, her spirit is bent on revenge against school-aged children or likely anyone unfortunate enough to cross paths with her while walking at night. Common instances of her sightings describe a high school-aged girl limping down a dark, quiet stretch of road or through the streets while most people are asleep, dragging something behind her. Upon closer inspection from those who see her and are concerned or foolish enough to investigate further, it is revealed that it is in fact a human body being dragged behind her. The chosen victim incapacitated and dragged across rough concrete and stone surfaces which shave down their flesh until they succumb to blood loss. 
Because Hikiko is recognized for her long black hair that often hangs in front of her face, it is said that she became the inspiration for Sadako Yamamura, the vengeful spirit in the popular Ring trilogy of books and movies. Number 2. Tomino's Hell This entry is a slightly tricky one to explain. Sources trace back to the user-submitted short horror story site Creepypasta, and is likely a story fabricated purely for the website. Then again, it is, for all intents and purposes, something of a ghost story, and fits this list better than any other we have planned so far. Tomino's Hell is a poem, supposedly written by a Japanese author, although this cannot be verified through poem collections, neither can a printed work of the same title be located. The story goes that the poem should only be read silently to yourself, and never out loud. If you were to read it aloud, you must accept the misfortune which is soon to find you. There are many people online taking pictures and recording videos as proof that they are reading the poem out loud. Although there are many users that said that nothing happened, there were also many more posts that were never followed up on by the original poster, suggesting that they had befallen the curse and were no longer alive to report back to the internet about their findings. The poem depicts a young boy, Tomino, and his journey to hell with his older and younger sisters. The verses make it clear that while the three siblings are sharing the journey, only his sisters are suffering, not himself. References throughout the poem speak of features related to a very specific region of the Buddhist idea of hell, which means that Tomino and his sisters are likely on this journey as a result of murdering their parents. It's also said that it's better to read it in its original Japanese, rather than the English translations found online. We will let you decide whether or not to read it with a link to the original creepypasta and a cleaned up translation. Number 1. Kuchisake Ona The top spot on this list is reserved for my personal favourite, there has always been something deeply unsettling about the story and imagery of our number one choice, the Kuchisake Ona. The Kuchisake Ona, or split-faced woman, is an entity appearing in older and modern-day Japanese urban legends. The stories vary between sources, as is such with urban legends, but an overall version of the legend goes like this. The spirit went through life as a normal married woman, though the marriage is said to have been doomed to collapse due to unfaithfulness on her part. One day, her husband returned unexpectedly early from work, and found her in bed with another man. In a fit of jealous rage, he murdered the other man and turned his unbridled anger towards his wife, holding her down and carving her face, rending a ragged slit from one side of her jaw to the other, in a psychotic bid to render her unattractive to any man that would ever see her. She did not survive the attack, and bled to death shortly after the mutilation. What became of the husband is unclear, though looking at reports of what follows, it is likely not pleasant. Her vengeful spirit, now referred to as the Kuchisake Ona, has had reported sightings throughout Japan's recent history, to the point where alleged sightings began spreading in the late 70s around the Nagasaki prefecture, continuing throughout Japan and causing panic in many towns. There are even reports of schools allowing children to go home only in groups escorted by teachers for safety, and of police increasing their evening patrols. The police response may seem like an overreaction to a ghost story, but the violent nature of her supposed behaviour was enough to warrant panic from parents and caregivers throughout the country. Again, slight variations in the information require a diluted explanation of her behaviours, but it would be as follows. You are returning home in the evening, through a quiet section of a usually busy street. Rounding a corner, you begin to pass an alleyway cloaked in shadow. You notice a figure in your peripheral, and as you pass by, a voice softly calls out to you. Do you think I'm beautiful? The figure, now partially emerged from the shadows, appears to be a young woman, dressed in a raincoat, long dark hair, and by admission quite attractive. You can tell even beneath the surgical mask she is wearing, which is common in Japan's inner cities due to air pollution as well as for cold and flu prevention. You answer, a slightly nervous, yes. This prompts a smile to grow across her face, noticeable even beneath the surgical mask. She reaches behind her head, slowly untying the straps of the masks, allowing it to fall from her face revealing the gore-filled smile that grew beneath her mask. Even with her mouth split from ear to ear, and her jaw hanging slack to her chest, she manages to speak the words again. Do you think I'm beautiful? There is no confirmed action you can take to leave this encounter with your life. Okay, so that was our list of top 5 East Asian ghost stories. Don't forget to comment, as well as like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check back again for another top 5 darkest list. Until next time.